Hello everyone. So recently I made a video on um, sprint dates and I talked about when to start your sprints in Jira like best dates or day of the week to start your uh, sprints and I mentioned in my video that you should ideally start if you start your sprints on Monday and now end on Friday then things will be good, great. You can watch that video. So in this video, I want to talk about a sprint naming convention. And it has nothing to do with Jira, but in a way it is because we do use Jira. And uh, if you're wondering as a project manager, as a scrum master, what names you should use, then hopefully this video will help you. Now, when it comes to sprints, I've seen... So first of all, there is no standard. There is no... Uh, industry standard or there is no uh, well-defined uh, convention to be honest it is more about what works use that and of course you know in this video i'll share uh, what really works well especially if you're using jira but also in general now the thing is if you want to keep things simple and uh, if you want to make sure your sprints whenever you're reporting on it those sprints also appear nicely I think, based on my experience, you should name your sprints using this naming convention, like yyyy hyphen uh, sprint hyphen one. That is it. Of course, you know when you when it comes to naming convention in Jira, feel free to in between write anything else. I've seen people using in their in their sprint names the name the name of the teams, which uh, might be relevant. It can be relevant if you have let us say scrum of scrums or if you have multiple teams doing something or basically working on the same cadence towards a specific goal or a feature maybe you have android web website platform api and they have different teams so if you have a team and if your teams are working together or at least they're following some cadence then uh, in between, like prefix and suffix, I believe should ideally be year and you should end it with a sprint number. And I'll, I'll talk about these numbers, like why you should start your sprint with a date, like why, 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 and end it with a number. But in between, you can have anything. For example, in this case, it is sprint. And when I say anything, I mean, it, it should make sense, right? Now, the thing is, if you prefix it with, with uh, year, then your sprints, if they are listed somewhere, then uh, these sprints will be sorted for you. And uh, this is something that I always follow when it comes to naming my configurations of wherever applicable, like my files. For example, the, for example, the video that I'm recording right now, the video file is also recorded with the yyyy hyphen mm hyphen dd and then time dot mp4. So naming your files with this convention or basically wherever applicable in like in this case if you if you prefix it with year then it will always be sorted for you whenever it is presented somewhere and uh, imagine that you start let us say you have a sprint uh, where the date or the year is in the end and whenever you start your uh, new year sprint or basically whenever you're looking at sprint of a particular year they, will, they won't be sort, sorted for you. So it is always a pain. Also, you should suffix it with a number because these numbers can represent... Uh, um, if you have a one-week sprint, then of course, you know, week numbers, fine. But usually we are talking about two-week sprints. So don't really relate it to like week of the year. I think keeping it simple, one, two, three, four is great. And... Uh, because if you're keeping it simple and if you're also following sprint dates like months like whenever you have a sprint it should be under understood in your organization that the sprint will start on monday and it will end on friday and if you have multiple teams following the same cadence then uh, irrespective of the team in between if you're talking about okay 2023 sprint number three so you know that okay for every team we're talking about uh, something which is starting on this particular uh, monday and ending on a specific Friday of that particular month. So have this number, maybe list it somewhere if you have to, but uh, when you create a new sprint in Jira, Jira backlog will also create the name for you nicely. Like in this case, it is uh, 
2023 hyphen sprint 4 and maybe it is understood that uh, sprint 4 would uh, be because we know that rest of the teams will be working uh, on delivering something and maybe end of october end of september you have like a major release something like that so this is something that works most of the time i've seen people and teams using uh, version names in the sprints which is not really i mean what is the point of using a version name i mean you can but uh, you're, you're if you're using versions anyways then there is no point of using like version names and it is still okay to be i'm not really saying don't do it and it is bad i mean i'm saying that reconsider if you're using versions fixed versions in your projects then use fixed versions and name your sprints with something like this and uh, what else uh and don't use the project name as well in your sprint name because there's there is no point if you if you're using something like advanced roadmaps then having this prefix and suffix will help you irrespective of the name in between because by looking at the sprint for example if you have configured your advanced roadmap to read from a board then this will help you and you can easily see okay i'm looking at the sprint which is for uh, this team for example of course when i when i say team or project even if you have to write something in between uh do that in between not don't really prefix it or with or prefix or suffix it with uh some text prefix it with the year suffix it with uh, this linear incremental number and that is it to be honest if you follow this i mean let me know what you do i've seen a lot of weird names when it comes to sprints but if you're using a tool any tool then try to use these naming conventions that uh, are easy to understand and if possible obvious i mean if you if you make something obvious and of course you know it will uh, it will help you i've seen some like in some cases people they prefix it or not prefix but suffix it with the weak number but weak number is not really helpful because if you i mean it it is probably fine if you don't really want to rely on the auto creation of the sprint name because if you have a sprint week number ending with let us say there is a sprint called as something ending with 50 but the next sprint is starting on 52 or whatever it it, it will carry on right so uh, because if you are following two week sprints then you will have like increment of 2 instead of 1 so keeping it simple like 1 2 3 4 from my experience um is ideal but if you have any suggestions if you think i'm wrong or maybe if you're doing something in a in a better way do let me know all right that is it that is it. and by the way yes i forgot come on how can i forgot so i always prefer to not leave spaces in between of my sprints and uh, one good reason is and in general for example not just in jira but in general whenever i name my configurations i try to use hyphens and i i, I don't like using personally i don't like using underscores because underscores take longer time to type you have to use shift i use hyphens because it is you know easier to type but at the same time if you're using hyphen or if you don't if you don't really have spaces in between then searching for something in jira not just sprint but any other configuration if you search for it it is easy i mean in the jql because then when you have spaces and you have you know some other characters it is always a pain right so use iphones it works and that is it that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much